Hi everyone. Good evening. So guys, as part of this lecture, you know, I just want to address about a couple of most frequently asked questions in my channel by majority of the people. So uh, first question is, I'm uh, having a six years or four years of non-ID experience and I want to start my career into testing. What would be the best practice? And these days we are not getting any calls. I have a completed learning on manual and selenium and I'm keeping some experience to my profile. Still, I'm not getting any calls, what we need to do. So these are the two quick questions that we are gonna discuss as part of this lecture. So let's get started. So moving on with the first question. So I'm having some non-IT experience. How exactly I can get started with my career in this testing? So guys, the point here is no matter how many years of experience gap that you have, if you are willing to start a new career in any tool or any, not only testing, any other programming languages or any other tool, that's a good time to kick started with it. But the only point that you need to know is learning a trending tool using which you can grab a job within a shorter span of time is the key thing that you need to decide. If you have already decided to jump onto the testing, then I suggest you to learn two most important things here. One is a manual testing. For sure, you need to learn this manual testing followed by mobile automation testing using APM. Okay, so this tool does has a bunch of calls these days in the current market. So most of the people are saying that they are not getting a calls for manual testing. They are not getting a calls for Selenium or other tools, CDL testing and other tools. But I personally observed with a couple of resources and they are getting a bunch of calls on mobile automation testing using APM. So the point here is if you are willing to start your career in IT, then better start with a manual testing. And once you are done with the manual testing tutorial, just jump onto mobile automation testing using APM, with which definitely you can grab a job in a shorter span of time. And the next point out over there is, how can I manage that experience, right? How can I manage that experience? See, uh, whatever the sources you are referring to, whether it is my channel or other channel or any YouTube channels or any Udemy platform or any e-learning platform, definitely whatever the knowledge you are learning from the different platforms, you know, which gives you confidence on that particular tool with which you can manage up to three to four years of experience for sure. Okay, so... The next and the most important thing that you need to deal with it is a managing of your experience certificates. Majority of the people, you know, I'm not sure uh, they are getting cheated by different, different people by spending a lakhs and lakhs of uh, getting a backdoor offers or, you know, getting a fake documents which are not valid and they are getting caught in the background verification, all those things. So I recommend you to choose the best in standards and go with the best people so that uh, you don't face any further issues, okay? And the another thing that you need to consider here is whatever the topics you are learning, you know, master them. If you have a knowledge, definitely you can sustain, you can clear your interviews and you can sustain your jobs. And moving on to the next question, we are not getting any calls. What do you need to do? As said, you know, majority of the people, they are keeping some experience on Selenium. So I suggest you guys, as you have already learned Selenium, I suggest you guys to learn with mobile automation testing. As you have a Selenium base, it won't take more than a week time for you to learn or to master this mobile automation. Add this skill set to your resume. For sure, you will get a calls and you can easily clear your interviews. Whatever the tutorials you are going to study on that particular tool, APM, you know, you have a bunch of resources available in the market. Uh, study that thing and just attend your interviews. You can grab uh, an opportunities. And if you face any difficulties in clearing your interviews, do let me know. Definitely I can help you out with the various questions and answers. Uh, if you are unable to address certain questions in an interviews, do text me those questions definitely over the email, you know, definitely I can help you out in with those answers so that uh, that will be helpful for you to clearing your interviews and another thing is don't trust proxies and don't go with the proxies i strongly recommend you to learn the concept master it and then give your own interviews you know if you start preparing your interviews then you will gain a more confidence and you can clear your own interviews don't depend on a third person's in clearing your interviews if you observe guys Anyways, you are manipulating some experience, right? At least, you know, 
from an interview perspective, prepare well and then clear your interviews and whenever you are attending an interview you know make a documentation if you attended an interview today with an ibm just list down all the questions whatever you have encountered and then whatever the issues you faced in that particular interview make a note before attending the next interview what are all the issues you have faced in the first interview you know clear them clear all the queries and be content in all the concepts every interview is a different learning experience enjoy it grab an opportunity. Wish you good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.